you have to have your DES key matched to your box. So right. we came to find out real quick what a rev limiter sounds like if you try to steal someone's snowmobile. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You ain't, going, you ain't nowhere. You no. ain't going nowhere. The idle is a little high, so it goes into rev limiter right away. I'm guessing it's probably 2,500 maybe. Oh yeah. Because we're idling at probably 25, three grand. Yep. Um, but yeah, we can uh, show you guys what it sounds right like. Now I'm gonna start it. This is with a tether cap that is programmed for the box, so it's gonna run like it should on three cylinders. So I'm gonna just have him quick yank the rope so you guys can hear what it sounds like actually running good. There you go. Yep. So that's a running 700 triple. Now I take this cap off because you can see inside here that little metal chip. That is what is different and programmed to the boxes. So this is a tether cap that's for a different CDI box guys. And you'll see when I plug it in, it's on. Now, Mark will take the kill switch off. He'll try to start it. So that's what it sounds like um, when you have a DSS key that's not programmed for your sled. Still starts. Still so, runs, but bum, bum, bum. You try to steal a skidoo, that's what it's going to sound like. 